everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing something really exciting because it's April 15th. It is the day that Titanic sank, so I thought it would be really fun to do a trivia makeup based on the movie. So I have my friend in the background. She's gonna be asking me questions. She went through my collection of makeup and picked out different products for each category and step of how I do my makeup. If I get the question right, I get to use the product I picked. If I get it wrong, I have to use the one she picked. So it could get really interesting. So if you wanna go ahead and see how this turns out just keep on watching all right guys so diving on in the first step is going to be primer so my primer I would be using the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic serum with the milk milk makeup hydro grip primer she picked out for me the wet n wild photo focus rose primer serum so let's get into it I think mine works better because it's rose like rose in the titanic good one <laughs> all right what's the first question when jack held rose at the front of the boat she said she felt like she was flying that's right yay okay so i get to go in with my products so the first step i'm going to do is go ahead and use the serum i'm just going to grab a headband so i can pull my hair back and get it out of the way I'm just gonna go ahead and put that under the skin. I like it because it gives a nice, healthy looking glow and it makes my skin feel nice and smooth. And it's a good base before you put on your primer. And then going into the Hydra Grip Primer, this is my favorite primer because it really grips on the makeup and it is not going to budge. All right, so for the next question, it's going to determine my foundation. So I picked out the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. I am a little self-tan, so it might come out a little light on me. And then she picked out the Urban Decay. This is the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. All right, what's my question? What did Rose do to show off at the third class party? Sitting on her tippy toes. Yes. So excited. I have not watched this movie in a while, so. Oh, I do. These are multiple choice. Huh? These are multiple choice. You're not giving me time to read them. <laughs> but I love this movie, so that's how much I know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop on my foundation choice, which was the It Cosmetics. I really like this foundation because I feel like it makes my skin look smooth and flawless and not cakey. All right, so the next category is concealer. I picked out the Jeffree Star Concealer and she picked out the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Both concealers I actually do kind of like, so either way I feel like it's gonna be a win, but what's the question? Where did Jack first see Rose? On the deck. That's right. Well, going in with my concealer. All right, so next step is going to be powder. I picked out the Jeffree Star uh, powder, and then she picked out the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh. I haven't used it in such a long time, so I don't know how I felt about it, but we're gonna find out if I get the question wrong. So what's the next question? You're gonna get it right. Oh God. What was Rose's necklace called? The Heart of the Ocean. Ding, ding, ding. You pick like the easiest quiz. <laughs> I need a challenge. I told you, find some different courses just in case. Not that I want this makeup look to look ugly, but I want a little bit of a challenge. This is called the most difficult Titanic quiz you will ever take. But is it of the movie? Yes. Okay, well, we'll find out. I really do like this powder, and it smells like cotton candy. Does it smells Fabrizio? What? Fabrizio. <laughs> Febreze. <laughs> All right, so next up is going to be bronzer. So she picked out the Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette, which I really do like. And then I picked out the Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush and Bronzer Duo, except I'll just be using the bronzer. So that way the next question can determine my blush. So what is the question? Why did Jack and Fabrizio have tickets for the Titanic? Because they won it while playing poker. Ding, ding, ding. 
All right, we're going in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Bronzer. This is the Golden Goddess Bronzer. I really do like it. You just have to build it up into the shade you want, but it does leave a nice finish. All right, guys, so bronzer is on. It's time to move into blush. She picked out the Lizzie McGuire blush in Delish. So if you watched my video of me unboxing and trying on the uh, Lizzie McGuire collection, you would see that this is the blush that I actually used for that. She don't pay attention. So I've got that that she picked. I or I know you used <laughs> that one. <laughs> or I have this blush option from the Jaclyn Duo. So what's my next question? Good thing I can edit, cause you'll take him forever. I'm trying to find a harder quiz. <laughs> Not this night. A. Surrounded by your children. B. An old lady warm in her bed. A old lady warm in her bed. Going in with my blush. So we're taking the Jaclyn blush. This is in warm flushed, and gonna pop that on the cheeks. Watch, I get all these like nice face products. And then when I get to like my eyes and my lips, it's gonna be a disaster. All right, so now moving on to highlighter. I have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlighter in Iced or the Milani Ludicrous Lights in Peach Ella. I don't know why it's called Peach Ella when it's purple, but what's my question? How did Cal get his fortune? He inherited it from his family. He's a Wall Street stockbroker. His family is in the oil business. He's the heir to a steel company. His family owns a railway line. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with the oil. Wrong. <gasps> My a, first wrong question. He's the heir to a steel company. <gasps> I knew it had to be something family related, but now I have to go in with this. <laughs> <laughs> And I hope that it's going to look okay on my cheeks. It is pretty, but it's very flashy. <laughs> and she's enjoying this now because it's a product she picked. So let's go ahead. I had to pick harder questions. That is pure glitter. <laughs> it is really pretty, though. You look fabulous. It's very pretty, but <laughs> is it going to match the rest of my makeup is the question. I still remember, did you ever watch the clip when uh, Kiki Palmer was on the sh on uh, Steve Harvey's show talking about Titanic? She had like a pant, she had pants on and they had roses and a picture of Rose on it. Some, or roses and pictures of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio on it or something. And so she was like, have you ever seen that movie? And he was like, no, I've never seen that movie. She goes, oh my, like she just goes on and on and on. And she goes on about how she refuses to watch any Kate Winslet movie because she's still so upset that there were room, was room on that door. <laughs> He didn't let her on that door. <laughs> okay, so next up is brows. We have the Anastasia brow pen, and we also have my choice, which is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio pomade. I haven't really gotten much use out of this, so this will be interesting if I have to use this thing. Uh, but what is my question? Jack got dressed up all fancy for his dinner in first class, but who gave him the tuxedo? Molly Brown. Yep. <laughs> All right, so that way I don't have to bore you guys with putting on my brows. I'm going to pop them on and I'll be right back. All right, so brows are on. Time to move into the next question. This question is going to determine whether I can use my primer base or not. So what's the question? What did Rose's note to Cal say? I'd rather be his whore than your wife. Here's a way to keep us both locked in your safe. Darling, now you can keep us both locked in that your one. safe. That's right. Yay, I get to use my primer. And this is the P. Louise primer. I love this primer, but I actually really enjoyed the Beauty Creations primer as well. So that's a nice dupe and it's $11 difference. All right, so now that my base is on, I have the 24A Artist Pass Palette by Morphe. And surprisingly enough, I picked out a Morphe palette as well, but this is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. So she picked out this one. I picked this one. If she gets it, if I get it wrong and I have to use this one, I'm going to let her pick out the colors I use as well. So what is my question? Who is the richest man on the ship? 
J. Bruce Ismay, John Jacob Astor, Colonel Archibald Gracie, or Spicer Lovejoy? Jacob Astor. Yep. <laughs> yes. Tell me how I skipped an easy question to do a hard question, and you still got it right. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is go in with positive T. Positivity, which is this shade here as a transition shade. And that's just going to go right into my crease here. All right, so now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Heart On, which is this shade here, and that's just gonna deepen up my crease. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Crazy, which is this shade here, just to deepen up that outer corner. All right, guys, so this is the final eye look using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Next one round is going to be the liners of choice. Mine are a nude liner for the bottom and my Rare Beauty liner for the top, or my friend's choice, which is a blue liner for the bottom and blue liner for the top. So if I get this question wrong, this look is gonna get atrocious. So what's my question? Who are the elderly couple seen holding each other in the bed as the ship goes down? Isidore and Ida Strauss, Benjamin Winneham and Madame Aubert, Sir Cosmo Duff Gordon and his wife. The first one. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I have saved the day because this would have been horrible. All right, guys, so my liner is on. The next step is mascara. This is going to determine if I can do mascara and lashes or just mascara. I picked out the Jeffree Star mascara with some lashes, and she picked out the Marc Jacobs mascara for me. So what is the question? Why was Cal able to board a lifeboat? He snuck on in a crowd of confused passengers. He bribed. He had a boat. child with him. He passed a lost child off as his own. Yep. Correct. Yay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on my mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So mascara and lashes are on. The next step is lip liner. I have a nude lip liner for me and she picked out a purple lip liner for me. So this one is in the shade BFF. And this one's in the shade, to be honest. To be honest, she's not about to be my BFF anymore if I get the purple one. <laughs> Go ahead and ask the question. What was the name of the treasure hunter? Brock Lovett, Thomas Andrews, Michael David, James Cameron. Go again. Brock Lovett, Thomas Andrews. Michael Brock Lovett. I got it right. Damn it. No purple lip liner for me. You're still my BFF. <laughs> All 
All right, so lip liner is on. So for the lipstick that I picked out, I picked Nakey Nakey by Lorely Los Angeles. She picked out for me this NYX Shine Loud lipstick in Disruptor, which is blue. This is not this is not going to work at all. So I got to get this question right or I am so screwed. Look at this. That's going to look terrible. Oh, God. What's my question? How were third class passengers contained behind a gate in the Masters of Arms quarter in a special room? They were handcuffed. So, like, when they're in jail type of thing? I don't know. Read it again. How were third class passengers contained behind a gate in the Masters of Arms quarter in a special room? They were handcuffed. One more time. How I'm so are, scared. How were third class passengers contained? Find a gate in the Masters at, Masters at Arms quarter in a special Master room. at Arms. Are you serious? It was behind a gate. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh God. I gotta get this part off. <laughs> like I'm all for color. That's obviously why I bought this. But with this look, it's a good thing I can take this shit off afterwards. I have to let it dry for a second and then go in with the clear side. Well, this look took a turn. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing is going to be a setting spray. So I got my Milk Hydro Grip setting spray and she picked out the Professional Super Setter by Benefit. So what's my last question? What year did Titanic hit theaters? Uh, 1997. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Let's set this craziness. All right, guys. So this is the final look of all the products that we picked out for this trivia makeup game for Titanic. I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope it was entertaining. I definitely want to make a series out of this and do other movies and TV shows. It definitely looks crazy. This ultra blue lip is insane and I know it's really entertaining my friend. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I'd love to have you guys a part of the fam. There will be a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers so you definitely want to be a part of that. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!